Federico Ferrante here from uh, Azimut Yachts and uh, today we're gonna do a very comprehensive walkthrough of this uh, brand new Azimut Yachts uh, 66 uh, flybridge. So while we are here in the cockpit we're gonna start going through uh, the features and uh, what it does offer. Uh, this material right here uh, as you can see as it looks in the video but the same looks uh, uh, in, in, a, in a real environment is uh, it, the, the look is 100% of marble well is not this is a synthetic material man-made it looks exactly like marble uh, so uh, the reason why we use this material is that unlike marble is completely stain free so this doesn't absorb any liquid uh, you can spill uh, lime lemon orange grapefruit any sort of acidic fluid which would affect mar marble permanently uh, will not uh, damage in any way shape or form this material which therefore provides you the same look of marble without the price to pay in terms of uh, spillage and damages fabrics this is the our upgrade fabric option we have on this unit this is called body line it comes from a French manufacturer and uh, is a fabric uh, design and engineer for outdoor so is a full water resistance very easy to clean water and soap it comes clean resistant to sun lotion designed for outdoor furniture but it gives you that feeling of an interior fabric so instead of having uh, the you know uh, vinyl that we were using back in the days and then when you start sweating they, they create that uncomfort uh, feeling this is our braided fabric again it gives you really the feeling of, of being a woven fabric but instead is a synthetic vinyl based design for outdoor uh, storage we provide storage every single volume available uh, so these two uh, cabinet right here of course are storage for cleaning product and so on and so forth they also host of course the lever for your cap stands in case uh, you need to operate them manually as well as your emergency manual bilge pan the, the 66 flybridge what we'll talk about that is a, a CE class A uh, certification uh, boat which is the highest class uh, that uh, uh, CE provide in terms of navigation uh, in terms of distance from the coast power of the wind intensity of the wind and size of the waves so it's the highest class available uh, we went uh, through uh, storage so probably here very easy access to the under of this of both the two wings of this sofa uh, there is these two very conveniently located doors which provide you access to the entire bottom where you can put your window covers your furniture covers cleaning product the chamois and uh, you know hook and you name it is actually fairly deep and uh, easy to reach and locked and protected going to the wet bar while we are here you have uh, an actual draw door refrigerator for the cockpit where also you have uh, a sink as well as uh, when you don't use the sink hot and cold water sink or a nice uh, uh, working space here to help and assist uh, uh, with the food at the table um, you have these uh, stainless steel uh, flybridge support uh, poles which are uh, a signature piece of our flybridge collection uh, of course they serve the purpose of uh, structurally sustaining the flybridge a reason why we can reach so far back and have the best flybridges in uh, the segments uh, of each of our flybridge models so a combination of engineering as well as uh, clever uh, usage of materials so also on the 66 fly we use uh, a significant amount of carbon fiber with uh, uh, vinyl ester and epoxy resin to reduce weight and increase uh, sizing for instance uh, the flybridge is a good example it's an area which is laminated in carbon fiber that's why it can be so extended and we'll go through it uh, later we will look at this uh, later but we have uh, two controls here custom made for azimut yachts with azimut yachts uh, logos uh, you will see they are identical they control one this one with only two arrows control the platform the hydraulic platform which uh, uh, raise and lower into the water to put in the water the tender and then enjoy time at water level and this instead with four 
uh, arrows controls your gangway. So there is a gangway under this uh, step, under here, imagine there is a box, and from here a gangway comes out. Of course you control in and out and up and down. That's why you have four controls here, two controls here. Uh, safety gate while we are here they all lock in two positions so fully closed engaged so safety provided beautiful Adimut yachts uh, engraved logo on the on the gate and then to open it you just lift and turn and open position in place safe and sound uh, last but not least in the cockpit again we always work to provide the most uh, amount of storage possible so why not under the stairs here was a lot of uh, space available so it was a perfect location actually for this uh, ladder which fits in uh, his own uh, dedicated bag this is a big telescopic ladder i will uh, remember to tell you what that is for is actually to be able to go and perform uh, maintenance and service on top of the hardtop on the flybridge. By code we provide uh, a ladder in order to allow uh, the captain or crew to be able to safely go and perform safety operation on the rudder mast. So let's, let's say that you have a, a burn a navigation light so that is something that you can't wait to be assured to fix. You want to make sure that A you have a spare on board that's always a good idea and B you need to fix that uh, as soon as you realize that you have a problem and uh, therefore if you need to be on the hard top and on the flybridge you want to be able to do that in the most uh, safe condition that's what that big telescopic ladder is for i think we can go inside again these are custom made for the azimut yacht 66 flybridge uh, door stainless steel and tempered glass and very simple mechanism you hear the clack so every every panel lock in place that for safety then you engage disengage the two safety latches and you push your doors back and you will they will engage again for safety and look solid strong nothing moves and now you have uh, this uh, beautiful communication with uh, between an internal lounging area so this is the salon we'll go into the details of this and the cockpit so from uh, uh, the stairs coming to the platform you have your cockpit you have a very very moderate step which of course is the frame of the door which also works as a barrier in case of back flush uh, you know when you slow down or you have back coming seas or you slow down for some reason significantly you might have water which uh, from the ocean come back into the cockpit this is also works as a barrier for that but then after that you have only uh, one step extremely wide uh, short and comfortable to access then the dinette and uh, uh, the galley breakfast nook and so on and so forth so very limited amount of stepping so entering into the salon of course uh, you get into the area where you have uh, uh, the noble materials so this is a uh, a brushed oak with a 10% gloss finish uh, so just enough coating to close the pore and protect it from uh, the environment and staining but still left very materic very natural and then of course uh, uh, the Azimut Yacht design team and architect uh, they have uh, uh, introduced this new brand new decor of the 66 flybridge which is now in line with the 60 flybridge uh, the 55 flybridge uh, or the Achille Salvagni design so this uh, now follow that uh, trend and this uh, so you have the same material same combination same feeling so you have the combination of a very raw materic material stainless steel trim in between and uh, mahogany 100% gloss this uh, is a beautiful um, glass cabinet obviously all led backlit where every glass has uh, his own uh, uh, dedicated uh, position in acrylic a custom made cut panel of course every glass is uh, uh, engraved as is custom made for uh, azimuth yachts yes, talking about details i want you to notice that the bottom where each component stands is neoprene making the bottom of every support in neoprene absorb vibration and avoid uh, noise while we are here and we're talking about china this is actually where all your china is on the 66 flybridge so one spot 
perfectly located halfway between the outdoor dining in the cockpit, outdoor dining in the flybridge, indoor dining there, kitchen. So this is a, a very good position and each drawers have uh, a certain amount of different components of the china which of course is as well logoed on every single piece neoprene bottom to avoid noise and vibration as well as neoprene locking uh, pin and every drawer is different kind and amount of china Moving forward, this, uh, this is a, a coffee table, of course is uh, uh, locked on the ground, can be removed uh, in case uh, somebody want to replace it or uh, make it bigger, smaller, but is locked safely into the ground, so of course doesn't uh, move around. Sofa, um, what we will talk about uh, in terms of sofa is access and storage that we always do, so each sofa provides either room for technical components like in this case for instance we have uh, our subwoofer is right there our air conditioning fan coil is right here then we have some available storage here and uh, this part right here is all available storage like that and also under this sofa right here there is an, an immense amount of of uh, storage so just by removing the pillow all that volume right there removing the other pillow same thing is all storage um, while we're talking about sofa you are uh, here in uh, residential size uh, ergonomics so extremely comfortable very deep so you see from my uh, bottom to my knee is, is really a residential uh, ergonomics and sizing of sofa so extremely comfortable you're not on the tight uh, boat made boxy uh, furniture but uh, you can spend hours here watching movies and spending time and chit-chatting with friends and family television this panel you see from here to here so 55 inch TV comes up there is a switch right there and uh, up and down and uh, this panel open now there is a little bit of a uh, decoration material on it and the TV comes up uh, of course you want it hidden in a high low uh, because look at the amount of uh, natural light that uh, the 66 flybridge uh, provide let in so you don't want to obstruct this beautiful view uh, uh, with the TV always hanging so when you don't watch TV you keep it down you don't look at it and uh, instead uh, when you watch TV you bring it up but again talking about the amount of natural light you can see the sizing of uh, the windows uh, throughout the boat imagine now you are in a beautiful place in uh, Polynesia, in the islands, uh, in Samoa, in every other place in the world, in Greece, in Italy, uh, in the Bahamas, and uh, in a beautiful bay by yourself at the anchor with your friend and family, and you have this kind of view all around you. It's, it's just uh, priceless. This is something that if you don't know it, I have had actually customers which never knew they had this kind of volume because it's so well hidden. If you look at it, it looks like a solid piece. You have a drawer here, it's kind of deceiving. Instead, you raise it up and look at the amount of storage volume that uh, you have here. And uh, as well as here, this is uh, uh, actually access to another fan coil. So when you see panels like this to lift, there is double side Velcro, you pull it up, you access the fan coil to clean the filter. So moving forward, while well, we will pass through here, sofa, this is a, again a combination of fabrics. These are all selectable from our uh, decor book, which have uh, an incredible amount of selection. For this specific unit, uh, they have chosen fabric uh, uh, for the uh, salon sofas and uh, instead Italian natural leather for the dinette uh, dining sofa, which makes sense. If you spill something when you eat on leather, you just take uh, water and soap and clean it off. The same will be a little bit harder on fabric. We have uh, all these sofa is uh, storage. In this particular boat, which have a fairly sophisticated uh, audio video system, you will notice that the part of uh, this uh, available storage has been used for actually audio video component and that tells you also the quality at which they are uh, installed. Those are UPSs, so backup power units. These are your DirecTV and your receivers. 
and that's a perfect location for audio video uh, components. Um, that center part of the 66 Flybridge um, sofa in the dinette, believe it or not, has uh, a good amount of uh, electrical components, which I'll be happy to show you. So part of the electrical uh, system is just under the sofa. Everything is, uh, imagine this as an electrical panel. So everything is uh, perfectly uh, color coded and coded uh, in terms of reference that you cross on our diagrams, which are provided both electronically and the paper. And uh, so this is part of the electrical panel. We can uh, now take a look at the galley. Very uh, complete, comfortable. You have a beautiful countertop here, which gives that entertaining kind of uh, environment where who is in the galley, galley is still connected. You can, you know, drink and uh, use this preparation for uh, snacks and drinks, uh, while instead you still have a lot of countertop space for your main cooking. You have a refrigerator. These devices right here are uh, safety for navigation, so when you're navigating, uh, you close this and the door, you see, are not able to open. Then you put them on this side and you have a full-size refrigerator here and uh, double drawers uh, freezer on the bottom. You have a storage uh, in every single amount of volume available is storage. Moving out this way, you have storage. You have your signature Azimut Yatsa silverware. Each piece again logoed with the Azimut Yatsa logo and uh, custom made for Azimut Yatsa. All the appliances we use are Miele, so Miele conventional microwave oven as well as a, a cooktop. Storage, this is your uh, sliding pantry. Of course, a storage double sink and uh, we have a storage underneath this cutting board uh, in this case there is a set of uh, um, cookware but this is a nice uh, volume of storage uh, in cleverly located uh, uh, power socket there is never enough so we put uh, uh, over quantity of power sockets you have two on this side and one on that side of uh, power socket going forward <laughs> This is actually a very interesting area because uh, uh, it's a multi-purpose, if you wish. Uh, these are, of course, uh, swiveling stools that you can uh, have in, in this position if you're moving, I guess, and uh, uh, you want to enjoy the movement, enjoy the landscape, and uh, maybe sip a drink, and is, uh, they have this kind of a bar configuration. But also, with a very clever and easy push of your foot, you can swing them the other way, and now instead if somebody is cooking and having a good time, you can have a couple of friends here with drinks and be in this very social environment. From that uh, console that I show you later in the helm, you control the window. This window as well as the one on the other side are electrically operated, goes up and down. Um, so you can be here on your stool, the other one turn around, enjoy a drink and also have some beautiful natural uh, breeds uh, coming in. So moving on the starboard side of the mid main deck, you walk into the helm. Helm, where again, cleverly located, you have double USB power source right here and as well as an AC power source. So you can have uh, uh, USB cables from your phone directly plug in here and an additional uh, standard socket. Helm is extremely uh, comprehensive. Uh, as I said, you have a port and starboard window, electric window, so we take this one down now. And um, you have uh, identical on the other side of the galley, so once you open boats, you have a beautiful airflow. If you want to enjoy the boat without air conditioning, we always find ways to put natural ventilation in every ambient. So by opening uh, cleverly located windows, you create natural airflow. Uh, this is a, a Raymarine. Um, package boat. This is our platinum package, so the top of the line for the 66 Flybridge. This boat is powered by Caterpillar C18, 1150 horsepower each. Uh, so standard shaft line propulsion, shaft and propellers with Caterpillar. It's actually a very fast boat. Uh, 
66 uh, they all do anywhere between 33 and 35 knots uh, each uh, wide open and they cruise all day at 28 29 uh, so extremely comfortable very reliable propulsion system and now between joysticks and thrusters the maneuverability of shaft line is uh, is definitely uh, no more a challenge for anyone so joystick is provided by caterpillar with the propulsion package so we buy joystick levers for flybridge as well as uh, main helm uh, engines and uh, reduction gears or gearboxes from the same manufacturers from, from caterpillar in terms of service warranty spare parts and so on and so forth is very important customer can rely on the caterpillar worldwide service network to get their azimuth yachts uh, service from the proportional standpoint and then you have all your other standard control this is your tri data your autopilot your balance stern thruster in this case uh, this is your trim tabs control rather trim blades this is your sea keeper stabilizer control you have one here and one on the flybridge uh, this is probably the most revolution, revolutionized uh, system uh, introduced into yachting uh, in, in the last uh, 50 years probably, which uh, uh, I always like to remind uh, that has been developed by Seakeeper and Azimuth Yacht. So we are approaching now the lower deck and uh, we're gonna go through the master cabin first passing through this area where I will stop real quick just to show this opening very important uh, washer and dryer so conveniently located um, they're just outside the master cabin on a 66 footer that's where you want them and right in front of each other so it's easy to transfer the load and then uh, by probably sitting on the stairs is the best way to uh, deal with the with the washing loads um, so again, separate unit, Miele brand, so extremely high quality, reliable. This is the master, uh, unique layout, so it's a full beam, uh, incredible amount of natural light through these uh, uh, frameless uh, structural windows. Uh, we still incorporate portals because uh, uh, we would like to provide, as I mentioned above, uh, natural ventilation in every uh, area of the boat so if you would like to enjoy the boat without air conditioning uh, by opening these two portals opposing each other you can create a, a nice uh, a natural airflow as i said full beam master separation and uh, always we try to adopt clever design so this of course is the head but once you close the door if you picture it behind the half bulkhead of the head is the engine room which is the noisy part of the boat especially when it's moving and so we by creating this uh, pocket of air which can be sealed you are creating basically a natural sound barrier and so these cabins become extremely quiet even in navigation because of the way the layout has been engineered we have a console here you have a high low tv which is controlled by that uh, switch right there up and down uh, um, arrows so of course you want the tv up only when you want to watch it because uh, you don't want to obstruct the beautiful view that we discuss immense amount of storage so you have two drawers uh, with very deep storage units here you have three drawers there and of course you have a cabinet here cabinet here same volume and a walk-in closet here where you have your hanging bar locker here you have uh, shelves hanging locker and in that corner right there you have a safe uh, for the master cabin so again this volume right here is uh, an air pocket if you wish to also isolate and soundproofing the master cabin from the engine room while we went through storage of course uh, signature uh, features of azimuth yachts on every model but the amount of storage you have under beds for suitcases towels sheets even clothing uh, audio video component that's a subwoofer for instance uh, of the audio video system of the master so tv uh, surround sound and subwoofer in the master cabin here and uh, uh, lastly you have this is also an extra storage unit 
which also works as a full-size mirror. So before going out for dinner, you wanna make sure that you look good. And this is a full-size uh, his and hers mirror while there is another one in the walk-in closet. Another actually clever usage of space is uh, that also where you don't expect it, we uh, make sure that we use every single inch of uh, volume of storage available. Here we go again with the incredible amount of storage uh, available in uh, the 66 fly head. Natural, um, actually handmade natural stone. This is quartzite. Um, so it's a natural material, but much more resistant to stains and uh, uh, damages than uh, uh, marble natural light and natural ventilation of course i want to i want you if you don't mind to take to come in here i always like to show uh, how roomy the showers uh, are so this is the master of course is the most in the largest of the showers but again uh you know you have a nice uh, rain shower feature and uh i'm uh six feet and i can completely move around without any obstruction uh, I'm really in a residential uh, size, an ergonomic shower without any obstruction. I don't heat anything, so I really feel I feel like I'm, I'm at home. Uh, that's the same uh, uh, comfort. Of course, you also have a bench. That gives you an idea of the ergonomics of uh, the uh, shower. Beautiful design uh, lamp. So this is part of our design package. So while we're talking about it, all the lighting on board is LED. Uh, there is not a single incandescent light uh, uh, on the boat and uh, also this boat has uh, uh, the design package in terms of lamps which involves uh, beautiful uh, design lighting details like those reading lights and that lamps and we'll see others going through the boat so we move to the vip which uh, thanks to our signature design uh, bow um, offer an incredible amount of space in the forward bulkhead. Uh, uh, if you will, we'll take a look at it later when we go and see the bow. But our trapezoid uh, bows uh, offer basically three advantages, two of which we'll see uh, when we go up there and one we can talk about in uh, here. Because uh, our bows are not the typical old school narrow uh, pointy bow, uh, but have that unique uh, trapezoid shape, that bulkhead right here uh, is wider at that given position on the boat. In other words, if this same boat with the same length, same layout would have uh, the standard uh, old school narrow bow, these bulkheads would be significantly narrower and therefore will not give uh, this amount of uh, space to a VIP cabin. So this is how you get a VIP cabin of this uh, magnitude. Same feature that we have seen in the master, of course, uh, reproportioned, but nice amount of storage under the bed for suitcases and towels and sheets, as we have covered already. And then, of course, you have a lot of storage. So every single panel you see, which gives you an idea of moving, uh, give it a try because uh, nine out of 10 is a storage compartment. So every single volume is always used for storage. Natural light, natural ventilation, also in this case, two openable portal opposite to each other, create airflow and uh, beautiful natural air. VIP on the 66 as an in-suite. We're gonna do the shower test on this one as well and uh, go through the shower. So again, as I said, every panel would give you a kind of a feeling that might be, most of the time it is. So we use every single inch of space um, available for storage. You have storage here that folds down and uh, you have storage under the sink, medicine cabinet on this side, shower, shower test. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this is the VIP head and uh, I can still move very clearly. I can adjust my shower height and uh, I am a again in a residential uh, kind of uh, dimension and shape. I, I don't have obstruction and I can uh, feel like uh, I'm home and not constructed. Let's go and look at the other two cabins. This is the more formal twin 
where you have a side by side, a very comfortable, nicely sized bed. You have your cabinet uh, for uh, clothing here, storage under each of the bed. This is actually the central vacuum system. So that uh, socket that we see around the boat, once you plug in the hose, this uh, comes on automatically and start vacuum. And this is from where you access it to then remove the bag uh, once you need to clean it. And uh, you have uh, storage and access to the air conditioning system as well here. So when you see this small little panel right here, this means that this is all you need to do to access the air conditioning filter. So that's the, to give you access to the filter, clean it and put it back, this is all you need to remove. And uh, this is probably another access to the bilge. Yeah, actually, while we talk about it, this is the gray water pump. So that we mentioned before, that gives you an idea of how the system are run from a technical standpoint. So you see, we always put labeling, which indicate the flow of fluids. You always wanna know, is the fluid going that way or that way when you take pumps apart? And you wanna know what this is. So you see there's labeled, easily accessible. So you wanna make sure that these kind of pumps are located in position where replacing them is uh, fairly simple. You don't want them hidden in the bottom of the boat. So here you remove the, mat the mattress and you can replace and put a new pump in just by opening a panel. Natural light, natural ventilation, access to the head directly from the cabin. So this is why uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, uh, side by side with direct access to the head. This head actually is identical to that as far as size so we don't have to go and do the shower test again is access from the starboard side twin as well as from the hallway so this also works as a day head and head for this cabin so this is the fourth cabin bunk bed configuration uh, with this kind of beam uh, you don't have room to put uh, two side by side so bunk bed but very wide very comfortable the access to go up and down the bed is very uh, comfortable and easy. So perfect cabin for kids. And uh, you know, why not? Uh, if you have an extra couple of adults for the night, uh, they surely can have a good night to sleep here. Each bed has its own audio video system, dedicated TV, uh, each of the two. And of course, a closet for your clothing and shelves in here. So again, a uh, pretty unique four cabin layout in 66 feet flybridge is fairly unique. Um, we're gonna move up to the flybridge. And um, so if you follow me this way, again, I always like to talk about handrail and safety. So you have a very sturdy, conveniently located handrail here and uh, you leave it and you immediately find the following right here and look at the depth of the steps so very safe uh, way up on the flybridge and this is where actually the 66 flybridge azimuth excel the most because there is no flybridge in the category of this size dimension and uh, features uh, uh, richment so while you are pointing this way probably we start from uh, the forward area where you do have a, a sort of a sunbathing area but which as usual has a high low table uh, here with a filler cushion and uh, when you don't use the cushion you bring up the table and this becomes now a dinette area same table of the cockpit and the fly there and uh, this is electrically operated comes up and down from there and you bring it up and this is a, like a breakfast nook uh, you know an evening cocktail area an extra seating area if you are dining in uh, more than uh, that area can accommodate or you put the table down you put your filler cushion on and it becomes a very comfortable uh, lounging area so you can have a husband and wife or significant other and a couple of friends laying here in a very comfortable position enjoying uh, navigation in the water and creating you know a friends and family sort of environment um, going uh, into the helm but we yeah, have of course the storage everywhere so this is where you put all your exterior covers we'll see all the rest of the storage of the flybridge while we go through it um, helm 
we went through the helm uh, uh, down below so uh, it's basically every component that we went through down below is here it's just uh, very comfortable conveniently located uh, when it comes to this kind of size this is a size especially in the americas is uh, owner operated uh, in the united states uh, i would say that 90 percent of uh, 66 uh, are owner operated so it's, it's a very comfortable and uh, uh, from, from a maneuvering and handling of the boat standpoint. Visibility is, uh, is uh, phenomenal. So you can see, actually, this, let me put this bolster, bolster seat, and uh, visibility is uh, from here, you can see all the way to the end of your bow, and through that opening, you can see at your transom. So maneuvering with the joystick and with this kind of visibility is, uh, is very, uh, simple and comforting uh, so it can be scary when you get to this kind of size uh, being up here and having all the control and the electronics you have cameras on here so when you're backing uh, the boat you can see where you're going from your screen so it makes uh, maneuvering and uh, navigating a little bit more easy hard top hard top carbon fiber hard top with uh, retractable awning uh, so i always say that uh, I don't see so much usage for the awning uh, during the day uh, when the sun will filter through. <coughs> but uh, I have uh, uh, spent the most amazing nights on Azimuth yachts, on flybridges, having dinner with clients and friends, and uh, the awning open, and it's just like having dinner under the under the stars. Uh, so that's uh, that is that give you the uh, idea of the amount of area which opens and retracts through that control units right there and uh, while we move this way you have uh, a table dining for eight up to eight comfortable you can take the chairs from downstairs bring them up and set them up here or as i said before you can set someone around this table while another three to four people can be around that table so this can accommodate easily up to 10 11 people uh, dining al fresco on the flybridge and this is uh, your wet bar where you have a barbecue of course a stainless steel safety protection panel for the barbecue in case uh, you know you turn it down emergency switch this is what it is so when you close the hatch if you forgot your barbecue on this switch right here get pressed by the hatch and cut off the power so you can forget it on and will still shut off on its own and uh, you have of course your ice maker and the refrigerator side by side on the flybridge coming aft this is an option this area actually is left blank and you can customize and use these components as you prefer in this particular instance we uh, made it with an l shape and a love seat opposite side and this is again is one two three four lounging areas on the flybridge in 66 feet that's why i said at the beginning that is a really a unique kind of a model and also residential size, extremely comfortable. And uh, you definitely want to spend time here. Imagine the boat is moving, you have a beautiful landscape, you're leaving the island after a beautiful day, and you sit down here, a drink, and a uh, couple of friends or family members. And uh, if this is not the best time of your life, I don't really know which, which would be. So again, this, but this is an option so uh, can also be empty you can have chaise long you can put a, an extra barbecue uh, piece of furniture on that side that we offer so this area is a, a little bit of a white canvas if you wish that you can customize as you as you wish hydraulic platform we mentioned it before the controls are right there and uh, uh, 13 feet tender or three seater jet ski uh, around a thousand pound uh, lift uh, capacity so plenty of power to uh, raise uh, and lower in the water toys so uh, either a jet ski or a tender and uh, also very convenient because once the jet ski or the tender are off the boat you can actually it's very nice I, I personally do it all the time you leave it at the level of the water and so you you if you have kids i do uh, they love to get on and off the boat from the platform when it's actually at the same level as the ocean and um, we take a look uh, actually at the crew quarters which number one access from the transom so the crew don't have to pass through 
the cockpit, they don't have to enter, bother anybody when they want to go to their quarters. They simply take one of the stairs and come down this way. So you can have up to uh, two crew members, one, two, and uh, storage, everyone is so sorry for, this is obviously, uh, in most cases works as, uh, uh, you know, a, a warehouse for parts and components and so on and so forth on brand new boats before delivery. Of course, uh, then the owner will decide where he puts his own stuff. Can also be, uh, in cases of uh, owner-operated uh, boat, which I said before, 66 is in that kind of range still. Imagine this then can become an immense amount of available storage. If you don't have crew, uh, there is no reason. You just remove the mattresses, put them in storage, and then these two becomes uh, flat surfaces where you can even build a divider if you wish and then can be all storage for water toys, diving gear, fishing gear, uh, parts and so on and so forth. If you have crew instead you can have up to two people uh, where they have an ample amount of storage in every single volume of the boat as you can see as well as they have of course uh, their own bathroom with a toilet sink shower uh, all in one is actually a fairly uh, a fairly generous uh, size and this is actually is an area that probably is worth to do the size testing and as you can see this has a, a shower curtain which uh, comes around but still I can uh, I can move very easy uh, drainage panel to move again and uh, this is where your shower comes off from hook right here they have their own audio video system so there is a television there comfortable access storage and uh, so now i think we're ready to walk through the beautiful sidewalk and approach the bow so well, while we are here i mean i want to point out to, to this very conveniently located sideboarding gates that you have on both sides and uh, specifically for the americas markets in the us uh, these are very convenient because we have docking where you have a, a typically side side dock on the side of the boat and so you put your ladder up and down and you come in and out of the boat from these uh, side boarding gates uh, whereas uh, in europe instead or in other side of the world is more typical to to dock stern in and that's why you also have on the 66 flybridge you have the gangway so in case you dock stern in you can go in and out, you can go on and off the boat through the gangway if you're more in an american style kind of dockage uh, you come on and off through the side boarding gates and a side boarding ladder so while we walk through the bow uh, you can really appreciate the, from the outside the stefano Rigini design uh, which is uh, an iconic uh, genius and uh, uh, this uh, shows you actually the amount of uh, uh, unobstructed, if you wish, uh, glass, which uh, translate, of course, in the, uh, all the light, 360 degrees uh, uh, landscape uh, kind of environment and uh, lighting that we saw from the inside. Here is, uh, you know, again another lounging area on this beautiful Azimuth 66 flybridge where you have of course a standard sunbathing uh, comfortable for four people and a kid if you wish if you want to make it crowded incorporated the uh, cup holder and then you have this uh, very comfortable lounging c-shaped sofa with uh, uh, you know bimini uh, top which is hydraulically operated which is the perfect spot like exactly this is will be exactly the context the sun is starting to go down you after a beautiful day at sea you have been swimming and having a good time with your family you sit up here you have your nice aperitif uh, you know a nice drink and uh, a couple of friends uh, kids uh, laying on the mattress and uh, i wouldn't see a better way to enjoy life um, while you uh, point at this every single uh, cushion is safely secured both through velcro as well as uh, a more mechanical fastening uh, meaning again as I said this is a 34 knots wide open uh, throttle boat and so you make sure that uh, you have uh, extra fastening for your uh, cushion and uh, the center area actually uh, feature two uh, watertight and uh, storage locker which in this case have been used to store all the covers uh, from all these areas you see wherever you see these naps and these retaining clips this is where the covers for the exterior furniture 
clips into it. So when you don't use the boat, everything is protected from the environment, from the sun, and uh, prevent deterioration. So these are the cover which come standard with the Azimo 66 Flybridge, and you can store them in many of the storage available for you on board, but this could be a location for the bow one and uh, the same amount of storage you have right there on the other side and then of course you put down your cushions and you secure them them in place again with your push buttons so they will not lift up and move uh, in, in in the wind uh, electrically operated as we uh, talk about uh, beam in the top um, which through that switch the black switch right there so it's very self-explanatory up and down and uh, once you put it down it actually fold into this pocket right here so it disappears it actually disappear into this uh, uh, pocket and uh, this uh, backrest actually stays down uh, so you don't have uh, you have uh, zero interference when you're moving when you're maneuvering and, and cruising and driving the boats from the inside foldable backrest so when you are up here obviously nobody's driving from inside because you will be obstructing the view so you have your backrest and when you're maneuvering and controlling the boat from the inside this falls down and is heavy enough to stay in position and unobstruct uh, view when we were down in the in the vip cabin which actually happened to be right under our feet right now this is the emergency escape hatch from uh, the vip cabin um we talk about the trapezoidal bow so for instance, actually that's a perfect example. If you take a nice a quick shot of the dead boat right there, you see that bow is, is narrowing and pointy. Like if, if this would be looking the same, we would not have uh, three benefits. Number one, we saw it in the VIP cabin. So uh, uh, this kind of geometry of the bow allow us to have a much wider forward bulkhead of the VIP cabin. So therefore, uh, more space for the VA cabin, which the, the forward bucket is actually right here. All right. So now, second advantage of this trapezoid bow is the this is a very technical and delicate area. Uh, anchoring is as important on boats uh, as moving. So this is a very uh, technical area. You want to make sure that you have the most comfort, the most safety. You might need to deal with this area in rough seas in certain wind condition at night you might need to pick up your anchor and move somewhere else so you want to make sure in the dark you want to make sure that you have the most uh, space to walk safely and this kind of shape imagine if now from here you put a two line and you come all the way here with a, a narrow bow like that your walking surface right here will be significantly less versus with this kind of shape you're able to have so much more walking surface in order to do and take care of your maneuvering so both dealing with the anchor as well as putting line on cleats uh, is much more uh, secure and safe and uh, last but not least actually if you turn the camera around and you point it to the bow of that 60 azimuth which is another Stefan Regini exterior and Achilles Salvani interior piece of art you'll see that there is those flat areas so that is the same bow it looks like a trapezoid and you have those flat areas so imagine now the same here when you're going through weather through water which are rough and the, the, the boat is cutting through waves typically explode on the on the bow that's that's what they do and the spray come can come up and make uh, your ride wetter than it would through that system we prevent that spray to reach windshields and even more flybridge versus if you look at again at that design right there you will see that the water that you're gonna cut through as a, as a very smooth way to just come up they don't have that there isn't that flat barrier so that you see right there on the 60 so the trapezoidal bow has a triple story if you wish again advantage of uh, size in the vip cabin more walkable surface in a very delicate uh, important uh, safety area as well as uh, more protection from water sprays in rough weathers if you have any further questions feel free to reach out and uh, contact us through azimuyacht.com or uh, marimaxyacht.com and uh, there couldn't be a better place and time to do this uh, Azimut Yacht 66 Flybridge walkthrough than uh, the beginning of May in uh, beautiful Pompano Beach, Florida. 
between this incredible location, which is the Marine Max Yacht Center, where you can come and enjoy basically the entire Adil Yacht range in one shot. So thank you for watching and have a great day.